Hi there, I'd like to advertise a little bit and for you to get to know my art history uh, course, Modern Art History. Now, it's a super interesting course because we pass in review a hundred years of art, but also very practical because it's 100% online. You're not going to sit in endless Zoom meetings. No, you're going to have all the material on Monday. You're going to interact with peers in online discussions. You're going to write your post and everything is due on Sunday at 11 p.m. A lot of students say that this class was very helpful to them in the sense that they saw themselves reflected in the curriculum, especially in the last four weeks, because it's dedicated to artists who explore identity issues. And a lot of students say that this course helped them you know, develop their observation skills, but also their critical thinking skills and get them prepared for the college experience and writing better. So the way I teach art history, I always teach art history in a very multicultural way. For instance, we will look at the Impressionists, but did you know that the French Claude Monet's work, especially his haystacks shown on the right, were directly inspired by the Japanese artist Okusai? Yep. What else? What's the big deal with Picasso's Demoiselle d'Avignon? What are these young ladies doing? They're naked, they're flashing their body, they have this aggressive mask, these twisted faces. What's going on? Jackson Pollock, the bad boy of American abstract expression, is flicking painting on the floor. What's this about? Is this an oax? Does it require skills? You bet it does. But the story is more complicated than that. He was inspired by Navajo Sen painters. And on the right, we see the grandmother of you know, drip painting right here, Janet Sobel. Her work preceded that of Jackson Pollock, and he was inspired by her, but she's lost in history. How come? There she is. Now we will look at the work of surrealist artists, and among them, we will look at Frida Kahlo. Why two Fridas? Why is she bleeding to death? Why two hearts? And we will look at the work of Marcel Duchamp. Yes, this is a urinal. Yes, this is a bathroom for Mel, and it's called a fountain. And no, he didn't make it. He didn't make it from scratch. He used it, repurposed it, and called it artwork. Is this an oaks? No, it's not. He, Marcel Duchamp was dead serious about this artwork, and this really changed the art as we know it. We will look at diverse artists such as Ruth Asawa, Asian American from Japanese background. We will look at artists such as Lily Thadler, who was an out and about lesbian, an ally to many different people who was dealing with social justice. We will look at the artwork of Latino artists here now. Zenil is underlying the fact that, you know, human rights include gay rights as well. We will look at how Michael Ray Charles, an African-American artist, pushes buttons by repurposing, repurposing old advertisement and speaking about race issues and social justice. We will look at Native American artists such as Erica Lord and Latino artists such as Enrique Chagoya, who's also a local artist. We will look at the work of feminist artists as well. In short, this art history class will be worth a hundred years of art, but will you will discover artworks that are very close to your heart and that will make you think deeply. I hope you can register in it and you will enjoy it. Try it out.